how do you let go and manifest future money when you're struggling hardcore in the now and worried about paying bills? Let's get into this question. The primary mindset here, the primary understanding is that, and this is like coming from a place where I was struggling and being now in a place where there is no struggle, my mantra throughout that whole process was always my current location is not my final destination. And what I learned and what what I became familiar with is balancing two different realities or timelines at the same time. So one is right where I am today, like right where you are today. And one is where you want to go. And you have to understand that they're not in conflict with one another. One is going to lead you there. Because of your struggle, because of whatever your current situation is, you're going to learn very particular lessons that are going to only help you in that reality where there is freedom, there is peace, there is certainty, there is safety, there's all these amazing things. Now, you got to do what you need to do to take care of the now. But what I want you to understand is that you must apply the mindset, the way of thinking of the version of you who's in the different timeline of where you want to go to your current situation. Meaning that if you have to take a second job or a third job or whatever, which I've taken, you know, a full-time job when I was transitioning in between businesses and I was living on my grandma's couch, you know, it's very easy to ask this question because it's such an applicable question. It's like, I'm struggling right now, right? So how can I be manifesting future money? And I'm telling you exactly how I did this. So it's doing what you got to do to take care of the now, but you have to apply the mindset to your present day life as if you're that future version of you who isn't struggling. Okay. Because listen to this, is the future version of you worried about paying bills? No. Or does she have more than enough to pay the bills? Yes. Okay. So the mindset begins now. And the universe provided you with a perfect situation to apply it to. See, I like to see everything as a course. I'm taking a bunch of different courses. We can talk about the buffet again, but let's do it. Use a different metaphor. I'm taking a bunch of classes. I'm taking a bunch of courses in the university of life. So what is my current financial reality teaching me about my finances that is going to help me actually create the financial reality of my dreams in the future? For example, money used to give me panic attacks. I used to have extreme anxiety and fear whenever I dealt with money. And I had to ask myself, well, what is this severe fear and anxiety teaching me for the future? And the answer I got was this, that the pattern of fear and anxiety will never help me become a millionaire. The reason why I keep creating this pattern in my life is because I am operating from fear and anxiety. And yes, your present situation could be causing you fear and anxiety, but from the RRT perspective, rapid resolution therapy perspective, it is not your situation that is causing you to feel a certain way. It's the way that your mind is perceiving it. It's the way that you are processing it. It's the way that you're processing it through old patterns and through unconscious programs. Because let's go to the Savannah for a second. Let's bring out the lions and the zebras. Lion and zebra, lion is attacking zebra and zebra is running from lion and zebra outruns lion, right? And we could be like, oh, wow, that lion really caused so much fear in that zebra. And that is a very logical way of thinking about things. But actually what fear does to the zebra is it causes it to run really fast. The mind of zebra is the one that caused it to feel fear because when we feel fear, energy leaves the brain and it it floods right into our legs and releases all like releases all kinds of chemicals into our bloodstream that allows us to uh, outrun predators. The lion does not want the zebra to feel fear. Because if the zebra feels fear, it's going to outrun the lion. If the zebra is just chilling 
and lazy and sleeping and just like, whatever, there's a lion right here. The zebra is going to die. Okay. So it's not the lion that caused the fear in zebra. It's the mind of zebra that caused fear in zebra that allowed the zebra to survive. Does that make sense? So it's not money that's causing you fear. It's the way that your mind is perceiving money. Another example that I can give you that worked so well for me to understand this is if someone is using a knife to cut me open, for example, okay? Weird example, but just go with me for a second because it's going to make sense in one second, all right? If someone's using a knife to cut me open and I feel pain, I could say, well, I feel pain because this person, the surgeon, is cutting me open. But the thing is, is that it's not actually true. The surgeon isn't causing me pain by cutting me open. It's my mind perceiving all of these sensations that are causing me pain and pain is a sensation. How do I know this to be true? Because we have such a thing as anesthesia. We have such a thing as painkillers that turn off the way our mind is perceiving those sensations. And so therefore we can go into surgery and not feel pain. So you have to make that separation that it's not your present situation that's causing you fear and anxiety. It's the way that your mind is processing it. And once you change the way that your mind processes it, then you're no longer going to feel that. And so I learned that the pattern of fear and anxiety will never help me become a millionaire. That was the lesson. And I need to, and I remember telling this to myself, I need to work harder on my money mindset than anything else. And the rest is going to fall into place. And that was exactly true. And so there's all kinds of stuff that you're going to get into an MBA that will help you release the fears and and anxieties and old patterns around money that will make sure that you never recreate this pattern of struggle ever again. And the next level to this that will help you release this, like if you want an example right now that I can help you with, this is a powerful thing that I do. It's a visualization and visualization communicates directly to the unconscious mind. Unconscious speaks in symbols, speaks in metaphors, speaks in visuals, speaks in colors, speaks in symbols. Okay. So what I like to do, and this is very important, especially if you're struggling with this, is to associate into very specific times because unconscious love specificity, right? Go into very specific times in your life where you were once worried about the outcome of something and you were struggling with something and you thought you weren't going to make it. Like it was just consuming every freaking molecule of your being. And yet you made it. Here you are. The universe provided you right at the 11th hour with the solution and you got to live another day and then another day and then another day okay associate to as many specific memories as you can like literally visualize them see yourself being on the side before you overcame it watch how you overcame it and then see yourself on the other side of how you overcame it And what you're going to do is you're going to show your unconscious that you've survived situations like this before. In fact, you've thrived through them. And this will send a message to your unconscious that you're going to survive this one too. So it will help you melt that anxiety and that fear away and bring a little bit of that certainty back into your body. Because remember, unconscious mind only knows the present moment. It doesn't Well, I don't think we've gotten to that module yet. I always forget like where we're at with these Q and A. So (laughs) please remind me be like, Catherine, we're only on module, whatever, or we already went through that module because I'll need that help a little bit. But anyway, the unconscious in module three, you'll learn that it's only in the present moment. And it's your conscious mind that has a way of conceiving of the future and remembering the past. And the unconscious only knows present moment, but, but there is blips There's these stucknesses in your unconscious that will make you recreate the past because unconscious is reading it as it's happening, it's already happened, or it's about to happen. So that's where past does come into the unconscious. But again, the unconscious sees it as it's happening right now. So you want to give it these reminders. It's going to be extremely helpful.